Hello YouTube, this is Morgan, Airspeed Prime here at my next Star Wars Rebels episode review. This one's going to be for Season 3, Episode 9, The Win Cathu Job. And, uh, yeah, this was a pretty average episode of Star Wars Rebels. Um, I wouldn't say it was bad, but I would say it was kind of on the lower end of what this series has offered so far. Especially in Season 3, this episode really didn't feel like it tried to do anything or really accomplished all that much. Uh, the episode can really basically be kind of uh, broken down into uh, Hondo's fun, Hondo's bad, but he's not that bad, and that's the entire episode. Like the the whole premise of this episode was uh, another mission with Hondo. Everyone warns Ezra he doesn't care about the people he's with. He keeps betraying them and kind of laughing it off. He's once you learn how actually he actually is and how he treats the people who he is supposedly loyal to. Uh, your views on him will change, and we got a little bit of that, but by the end of the episode it was just like, oh, Hondo, it's fine. Like, there was no notable development whatsoever. And I think this is the this is the problem with Hondo as a character. He is so much a comedy character um, that it is really, really difficult to take them presenting anything that he does seriously as, like, an issue. So them kind of trying to present him as this kind of kind of cruel guy who just leaves everyone behind him, doesn't actually care about anything except treasure, didn't really work because it's always framed around the fact, oh, he's Hondo, look at his personality, he's funny, and you know, he does all this weird stuff. Um, and then bringing, like, as Morgan in as, like, a, like, a, the, a, as, like, a duo, I, I just think didn't work at all. Um, and the other problem with this episode was that it was just another the Rebels get something to help the Rebellion episode. No notable character stuff happened here. Um, I assume they will use the proton bombs that they got in this episode, but nothing really important happened here. This was just another, we got a bunch of X, we, we got a bunch of Y wings or something like that episode. Um, and that's the real problem with this series. It can't do an average episode without it coming across as being just really, really disappointing and just about nothing, basically, like this one. Um, like, it tried to do something, as I said, the whole um, Hondo and, like, trying to have Ezra kind of maybe turn a little bit on him, not just defend Hondo, worked for, like, a second, but then the end of the episode just really ruined anything that it could potentially have offered in that it's just like, oh, the guy was in the box the whole time, the... Minot guy, or whatever whatever that species is, him, he was in the box, he got rid of the treasure, put himself in to guarantee he survived. Funny joke, he actually does somewhat care about him, and let's leave until Hondo comes back, and we have another one of these episodes. That's exactly how this episode felt to me. Um, just an episode. Uh, I don't really like to use the term filler all that much, but this felt very, very filler-like, fillery, and... Um, because it just, it was not notable in any way. Um, there were some fun interactions between, like, Zeb and Ezra, and that those were the kind of two important characters for the episode, uh, kind of seeing Zeb lead a mission, and he's actually a pretty good leader, actually, when, it, when you break it down. And uh, he obviously ha has some really kind of fun interactions with Ezra, because um, th over the that has been a decent development within the Ghost crew, those two actually becoming friends, and especially once you got into the action towards the end of the episode, you know, the trust that they had in each other, um, Zeb saving um, Ezra from the fall, and then uh, Ezra protecting Zeb using his lightsaber as they were kind of being brought back onto the ghost. That was uh, pretty good. In terms of an action scene, like, the, the action scene at the end was, you know, pretty good. You know, the whole uh, in-flight transfer of everything, the sentry droids as uh, to kind of add an enemy to the episode... Uh, otherwise based around a kind of abandoned cargo ship. It was interesting enough, but again, like, will anyone remember what happened in this episode come the end of the season? Will anyone look back on this episode and be like, that's a very important episode. That was a notable episode. That stuff, that episode did stuff. This important scene happened in that, epi uh, in that episode. This character developed within that episode. The rebellion was really heavily helped by this episode. Maybe, you know, maybe those bombs will come in very handy, but 
I have a feeling it'll just be those things allow the rebellion to fight the uh, the empire without being at a huge disadvantage. Um, but yeah, I think I've pretty much covered everything I want to say about that. Like really, really short review this time out. But was there anything more to this episode? So in the comments, definitely let me know what your thoughts were on this episode. I really didn't see a lot to this one. Uh, if you thought there was something of note to this episode, definitely let me know in the comments um, because I'm just kind of very baffled by how low the quality on this episode was in terms of just being notable. Um, but yeah, I'll just end by saying uh, links to my Twitter and Tumblr are in the description if you want to follow me on social media. And then links also in the description to my Patreon campaign and also my PayPal donation link if you want to help support my channel so I can make more videos and better videos. But that has been the review for Rebels uh, Season 3 Episode 9. Thanks for watching and bye.